What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be giving you guys a tutorial on this look. I am going to be talk throughing it with you guys. Not talk through. I'm going to be voice overing this video. First part of the video there's like no sound and so I'm just going to voice over um, the rest of it and I wanted to watch some crime scene videos. I was looking at my James Charles palette and then I was looking at the background and I was like I kind of want to do like a mixture of purples and like periwinkle blues and stuff and the James Charles palette of course had every single color that I wanted to use. I love this palette. I mentioned in my previous video that this is hands down one of my top favorite products of 2018 and I'm gonna literally use it throughout 2019. So my hair is not done clearly. It's very frizzy. It has like <laughs> I, you know, I don't know. I just got it out of the shower and I was like, you know what? I don't feel like curling my hair. I don't feel like doing anything. I used um, a new concealer today. I actually used the new Smashbox um, Studio Flawless Studio. Okay. This is the new Smashbox Studio Skin Flawless 24 Hour Concealer. Um, I actually thought this one was like perfect for my skin, skin tone and it's not. Like, was I looking at this in the dark? I am excited to show you guys this video and to just jump into this tutorial. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media, which you guys can find in the description box. You can also find all of the products that I'm using as well as the brushes down in the description box. Don't forget to follow me on my social media, which is linked down in the description box. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already. And I think that's it. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start off by prepping my lips and I'm using the Smith's Rosebud Balm and then I'm going to prep my eyelids and prime and I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in the color Light Sand and I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out with a dry beauty blender because your girl is too lazy to get up. And then we're going to jump right into that Morphe and James Charles palette and I'm taking the color Canvas to set my eyelids. I should have used a translucent powder because I always forget that shape tape actually like creases on my eyelids for whatever reason then we're gonna go in with this beautiful kind of periwinkle blue shade this is called brother and I'm gonna take that with a blending brush this is a morphe I can't remember the name but it's like the Mac 217 brush and I started blending with that and then I decided I should just stamp that on with a flat shader brush and then blend it out and I'd probably get more color payoff so that is what I did I'm just stamping that into the crease and then I I am taking that brush and blending that out and I'm going to build this color up um, I like to build rather than putting on like a whole bunch of the color because I find it harder to blend out and get it to work the way that I want it to so again I'm just gonna keep building that color up and blending it out as you can see I'm just following the same shape then I'm gonna go in with this deep purple shade which is called escape and I'm gonna do that same technique but just a little bit lower than that blue shade as you can see where I blended it up I'm not gonna take that all the way through my goal for this entire look was to create like a totally new shade almost like a blue purple shade um, and making it very seamless. I felt like the escape color was too dark of what I wanted and so I felt like I wanted to add in those blue tones and so that was my whole goal for this. And again, I'm doing the same technique where I take that um, shader brush and I'm going to stamp that on into the crease and then I'm going to blend it out and I'm just using the same brush that I was using. Then I'm going to take my, like another E25, this is a Sigma E25, and I'm going to take a little bit of that brother shade and I'm going to blend that up into the crease because I felt like we lost a little bit too much of the blue. I'm going to go in and cut my crease and I'm just using the same Tarte Shape Tape and I'm taking a MAC 242 to do this and you guys know my cut crease technique is awful. Um, but it ends up looking good and I don't I don't understand either so I'm going to take that E25 brush with that brother shade on there and I'm just going to kind of pack that onto the outer and the inner corner just to blend those edges of that concealer because we don't want it to be super harsh um, we want it to look pretty seamless I'm going to go into this shade which is artistry I actually had never touched the shade before today and it is kind of purple with like a bluish shift like I don't under, I don't 
it, it looks different on and like different colors and so um, I'm taking that with this Sigma performance flat shader brush and I'm going to put that all over my lid and then I'm gonna go in with the shade called hello and I am going to pop that right on top it was looking a little too purple for me so I decided to put a little bit of that blue on there I'm going to prime my face using the Smashbox Primer Watcher and then using the Smashbox Primer Oil. I have been loving putting oil on my face before applying foundation instead of primer. Um, I know this is primer oil, but I've really been loving it. My foundation has been looking so bomb lately, um, and that's what I'm doing. I'm taking my Too Faced Born This Way foundation, and mine is in the shade Golden Beige, and I'm taking this Sigma Kabuki brush, this is the Round Top Kabuki, and I'm just going to apply that all over my face with the brush first. I feel like I get the most coverage, and then I can go in with my Beauty Sponge, which is the Morphe Sponge, and I am going to just kind of press that into the skin and really not sheer it out, but make it less cakey. I feel like when I use brushes, it becomes super, super cakey. For concealer, as I mentioned in the beginning, I am using the new Smashbox Studio Skin Flawless Concealer, and I'm taking the first shade in Medium Golden Olive, uh, I don't know if that's right, and then I'm taking the next shade, which is the Light Golden Olive or something, I don't know what it is, um, but I'll have them down below for you guys, and I'm just going to mix those two and place them underneath my eyes and blend out with that beauty sponge. I am so sad because I was running out of my Laura Mercier powder and I literally got the last bit of it out for this video and so I need to go and repurchase that but I'm just going to set those under eyes and then I decided to kind of cream contour just a little bit. This is the Pure Cosmetics Cameo Contour and I'm just taking a stippling brush and I'm just going to blend that out all over my face just to give my face a little bit more warmth. I decided to skip my rest of my face apparently, but I'm going to finish off the eyes. I'm taking that same escape color and I'm going to blend that with that flat brush right under my lower lash line first to get that deep, deep color. And then I'm going to go in with another brush and I'm going to blend that um, brother shade right on top of it so we match and really line them up with the top of our eyes. I'm going to go in with this BH Cosmetics Black Light Highlight Palette, and I'm going to take this shade. I can't remember the name, but I'll have it below for you guys. And it looks pink, but it has a purple shift to it, and so I'm using that on the inner corners. And then I place it in a couple of different areas as well, which we'll see later. I'm just going to apply some quick mascara and lashes, and then I am bronzing with the Bahama Mama Bronzer by The Balm Cosmetics. And you guys know this is my go-to bronzer. I like live for this stuff. I use so much of it and you know, it, I just love it. For blush, I'm using Max Harmony blush and I can't get over how dark this blush looks on camera, like in the pan. Like it looks pink to me like in real life. For eyeliner, I'm using this Deep Plummy shade by Urban Decay. Again, I don't remember the name, but I will have it down below for you guys. For highlight, I'm using the shade, is this called Face? I, I can't remember. I think it's called Face, and I'm going to be using this as my highlight today. I'm going to be placing that on my cheekbones, my cupid's bow, and then down my nose. Again, I'm going to take that MAC um, mascara, and I'm going to apply that to my lower lashes. For lips, I'm going to line with the Morphe Makeup Talk um, lip liner. I actually really truly like their lip liners i have them in my kit i have them for myself and then i'm going to go in with max blankety lipstick and i'm going to apply that i've been wearing regular lipstick lately so props to me because i am a liquid lipstick girl and then i'm going to apply a clear gloss on top this is the smashbox clear one and this is the part where I go back in with that highlight palette and I'm going to add a little bit of that color to my brow bone and then I'm actually going to run that on my lower lash line as well. And I just really like the way this looks. Alright guys, so that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I just wanted to sit down and play with some makeup. I have a few series ideas that I would like to do um, and we'll see how it goes. So if you guys have any video requests or anything of that matter, then please go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to follow me on social media, especially Instagram because that is where I post most of my content and you can always get updates on um, my videos, on my life. As always, all of the products will be linked down below for you guys to 
you guys can check them out as well. So yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the week and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.